Hey, what's up, boo? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to keep and transfer your saves after Apple revokes your apps. Obviously, many of you have seen that Dropbox Sync no longer works, and now to keep and transfer your saves, you will need a computer. Now I know, a lot of you all don't have computers and I'm sorry, but before you click away, make sure you are subscribed, because if a method to do this without a computer is found, I will definitely make a video on it, as well as Delta, the update to GBA for iOS will be out soon and it will have Dropbox Sync support. So hit me with a like before you leave my no computer friends and those of you with a computer, hit me with a like if you are ready to learn how to transfer your saves and without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. All right, so first, make sure you still have your revoked application as we're gonna be taking the saves out of that app and putting it into a new signed one. So to begin, head over to your computer, open iTunes, and once you have iTunes open, go ahead and plug in your iOS device. And once it's plugged in, go ahead and switch over to your iOS devices section. And upon arriving at that section, you wanna see to the left where it says file sharing and click on that. There you'll see all of your downloaded apps that have been revoked. And as you can see, I have GBA for iOS and I'm gonna be showing you how to do this with this app. So once you click on the app, you wanna create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you have a safe location and you want to take your games and your .sav files and drag that into the folder as well as if you want to take your save states make sure you take the save states folder as well now this process works for nds for ios inds and happy chick so if you want to transfer your saves from any of those applications you can go ahead and do that but once you have those saves stored you can go ahead and eject your iphone and we're going to head back into our iOS device. And now that we have our saves stored on our computer, we can delete the revoked application. Once you've deleted the revoked application, we're going to have to re-download the new signed version by heading over to iEmulators.com, switching over to the app section, and then from there, find the application that you want to re-download as they are always constantly being updated on iEmulators to work so if it doesn't install for you the first time you can try again in a couple of days and it'll probably be working then so as you can see i am now installing gba for ios again so that i can transfer the saves that i have in my computer into this new working signed version and every time an app gets revoked you will need to repeat this process so as you can see i've just installed it it says untrusted enterprise developer so i'm going to head to settings go to general scroll down to profiles and device management and then trust a certificate for this new gba for ios now once i've done this we're going to open the application in my case it's gba for ios one time and once you've opened it one time we can then head back into our computer so once you've downloaded the game and you've got that all done, let's head back into our computer and we are going to reopen iTunes. Now that iTunes is reopened and we have our phone plugged in again, we're gonna head to the file sharing tab and then click on our new signed version of the application. In my case, it's GBA for iOS. Open the folder that we put all of the stuff that we transferred from the revoke application select it all and just drag it into the applications documents as you saw for me it was gba for ios and then the same thing goes for nds for ios or inds once you've done that you can head back into your ios device open the application and now you'll see that your games as well as your saves are now in your ios device so that is the new way to transfer your games and your saves as Dropbox Sync no longer works. It does require a computer, and honestly, it doesn't take too long. You'll just have to repeat this process every time the application is revoked. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please hit that like button. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see me do, as I'd love to do what you all suggest and want to see, and I read all the comments, so let me know. Finally, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I upload a video as I upload videos like this one and anything that you guys request. So yeah, 
Anyways, thank you again for watching, thank you for subscribing, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.